share this story with you. He was a fighter pilot who was killed in action when his plane was shot down in Desert Storm. U.S. Air Force Captain Stephen R. Phyllis, many describing him as an unsung hero of the war in Kuwait. Now, Air Force Brigadier General Jim Demarest is on a mission to have the Medal of Honor awarded to Captain Phyllis for his bravery and his service. The Brigadier General joins us here live on the program. He's also a Chief of Staff for the Florida Air National Guard. Good to see you. Thank you so much for coming on. Talking about this story, if you don't mind, tell us more about Captain Phyllis and what inspired you to do this. So Captain Steve Phyllis and I are both uh, graduates of the United States Air Force Academy, proud members of the class of 1982. Steve and I were on the boxing team together, and that's really where our friendship began. Uh, we then went to pilot training. I went on to fly the F-15, and Steve went on to fly the A-10. And on February 15th of 1991, Steve made the ultimate sacrifice under incredibly heroic uh, circumstances during Operation Desert Storm. We thank him, of course, for his service. We thank you for your service as well. Um, you know, tell me about sort of the legacy, the family that he leaves behind as well, and why it is so important that we pay our respects. And we do thank our servicemen and women who've made these ultimate sacrifices. So Steve Phyllis is from Rock Island, Illinois, and his mom and dad, Bud and Diane Phyllis, are still there, uh, as are Steve's uh, three brothers and sister. Um, Steve was the oldest of five children and uh, was committed to being uh, the best Air Force fighter pilot he could be. And uh, on the 15th of February, um, he launched on his most dangerous mission of Desert Storm. And his wingman, Lieutenant Rob Sweet, was shot down over a 10,000 unit Republican Guards division and began parachuting down on top of uh, the troops that they had just got done bombing and strafing. Steve stayed in the target area for over four minutes, exposing himself to intense enemy fire, uh, completely disregarding his own safety, and ultimately paying the ultimate price, sacrificing his life, trying to save the life of his wingman. And that type of sacrifice is something worthy of recognition and celebration. Yeah, I know you're, you're seeking for that Medal of Honor uh, to honor Captain Phyllis there. And ha have you been successful? Have you heard positive uh, a response from that, those efforts? Well, Steve was awarded the Silver Star and Purple Heart, so he's a hero uh, under any circumstances. Um, Air Force Magazine just last month published a feature article kind of laying out the story of Steve's heroics and beginning the conversation about the Medal of Honor. I'm with you today to help spread the story of Captain Steve Phyllis. But shortly on the heels of this effort, we're going to begin filing the paperwork necessary to go through the Department of the Air Force, Department of Defense, all the way through Capitol Hill to the White House to see if we can't get that Silver Star upgraded to the Medal of Honor. Wow. So far, everybody that hears the story is inspired, but we've got a long way to go because it's a, it's a very heavy lift, as you can appreciate. You know, the standards for awarding the Medal of Honor are justifiably very high. But when you look at what Captain Steve Phyllis did on February 15th, his heroics check all the boxes. I'm, I'm so glad you were able to share his story. Come on the program. Talk about talk about Captain Phyllis here. Uh, just maybe your final thoughts on, on, on the respect that military men and women should be receiving based on the sacrifices that they make to protect our nation. Sure. You know, I'll go back to Desert Storm because that's where Steve lost his life and that was where I served uh, last on active duty uh, in a combat role. And, you know, Desert Storm was wildly successful. We were, for the most part, I think, a victim of our own success. We forget that we lost over 150 troops, 24 fixed-wing aircraft and five helicopters, and that comes at a cost. And, you know, every single day, uh, our men and women in uniform are out there doing the job many of them unsung heroes like Steve, not all of them in harm's way, but all of them contributing something and giving something of themselves. Our service members, their families, uh, their friends, uh, their businesses, all making sacrifices so they could serve and defend those freedoms and things that many of us take for granted. And so I'm here to help promote uh, the story of Captain Steve Phyllis and recognize that freedom comes at a cost, sometimes the ultimate price. Yeah. Again, so glad you're able to join us here on the program talking about Captain Phyllis. Uh, that's Brigadier General Jim Damaris. Thank you so much. We appreciate it. you taking the time.
Thank you so much for having me and for helping me share the story of Desert Storm hero, Captain Steve Phyllis. Absolutely. Thanks so much. Hey, I'm Rob Finnerty. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please join the conversation in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe too. Hit the bell icon to be alerted to breaking news. And remember, there's a whole lot more on Newsmax TV, America's fastest growing cable news network. Newsmax TV, where real news for real people.